I was raised in a Christian family. Uh, my earliest memories are uh, of church, and uh, my father was a minister. Um, my grandfather, my great grandfather before him, so going all the way back. So uh, I was very, very blessed to be converted at a very young age. I really believe that I was converted at a very young age. Um, I, I clearly remember, for example, the age of nine, um, my mom took me to work with her. She worked as a secretary at a print shop and um, she looked around, couldn't find me and went back and found me standing among the printing presses, uh, arguing with the, uh, the, with the adult men running those printing presses on the existence of God. I remember that, by the way. Uh, they looked like mountains to me that were so huge. So I, I guess I got an early start on that type of uh, type of thing. Um, but it, it wasn't uh, until uh, high school I had intended to go to the Air Force Academy. Uh, I thought maybe medical missions down the road, something like that. I, I don't know. But uh, Lord got hold of me. And to um, make a long story short, uh, uh, I married young. Uh, very thankful that I did. My wife and I have been married for over 40 years. And um, she had, uh, she's an identical twin. And so uh, the Mora missionaries came by and, and wanted to convert her. And so <laughs> she got hold of me and, and uh, uh, we came over and I met with elders Reed and Reese, the LDS church, the Mormon church. And really that's what started all of it was I realized that I didn't know enough about, I certainly didn't know enough about what they believed. And I quickly came to realize that though I was a preacher's kid, was raised in the church and things like that, I didn't know enough about what I believed to express it with the, the type of clarity that I needed to do so. Uh, I knew the Mormons weren't going to try to bridge the communication gap. That would be up to me. And so um, that led over a number of years to uh, the founding of Alpha Mega Ministries uh, 40 years ago, this coming uh, October, I believe, is our 40th anniversary of uh, the ministry and uh, everything that's come since then. And uh, that has included uh, uh, a lot of travel around the world. I don't travel outside the United States now. I'm not flying uh, after the um, uh, pandemic stuff. Uh, we can get, can get into that for other reasons at some other point if we wanted to, I suppose. But but now I'm traveling and uh, teaching for uh, Grace Bible Theological Seminary. And, and of course, uh, uh, I'm one of the pastors at Apologia Church, which means those young guys, Jeff Durbin, uh, Luke Pearson, uh, Zach Morgan, they, they, keep me, uh, they keep me young. They keep me hopping. Uh, actually, Luke just normally insults me about how old I am. Uh, he thinks I know a lot about church history because I was actually there. Uh, and so uh, let's see. Young guys, yeah, I, I, I just always laugh and go, just wait, it's coming for you too. <laughs> uh, that full head of hair will someday disappear. It's uh, how it works. But anyways, that's a little bit about me. I'm, I'm married, uh, two kids, five grandkids. Wish I had had more kids, to be honest with you. Um, and uh, my daughter, Summer, has a uh, webcast called Sheologians that a lot of people listen to. Um, she's a... Uh, the apple didn't fall far from the tree with uh, with Summer. She's very much like I am. And uh, um, in fact, I'm more than happy to admit that uh, there have been a number of times I've, I've gone to her uh, to get information. She was way ahead of me on a lot of this um, intersectionality, social justice stuff. She had been dealing with that for a couple of years before I even became aware of it. And uh, so it's uh, exciting to, to see that. 